Are you washed in the blood? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Precious blood from Calvary. You spent an old song that said there was one drop that was shed just for me. Praise God. Praise God. I'm so glad that Jesus was willing to do that. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. But he was willing to. Praise God. We're going to see each one in the house of God tonight to worship Him. Yeah. Praise God. Hebrews, the 11th chapter. I'm going to read verse 1 and let you be seated because we're going to go through the whole chapter and then some. Praise God, but I won't be long. I read fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Praise God. Let's praise Him one more time. God, we love You. God, we praise You. We thank You for Your Spirit. We thank You for Your Word. Anonymous, use us tonight, Lord. We anoint our hearts and ears to receive Your Word tonight. We praise You for it. In Jesus' name, praise God. You can be seated. I, I thought of Leonie's testimony about what happened, about how God had blessed her. And I thought back over the services a couple of Sunday nights ago, the way, the way God moved, and, and uh, uh, the Spirit of God just began to bless people and bless their families. And, and uh, we're seeing the results from that. Thank and you, Jesus. So Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. But it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You know, another way we could describe faith is an assurance. Of course, it's hope. It's an expectation or it's a belief. Amen. It says, for it by the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. It appeared when God told it to appear. Amen. When he said, let there be light, the Bible said there was light. Mm -hmm. But then we're going to get into the, to, to the rest of the chapter, and this is what the title of my message is tonight, simply by faith. By faith. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we, we walk by faith. Amen. And not by sight. Too many of us uh, base our walk with God too much on, on uh, the circumstances that we're walking in when uh, we, we, you know, it, 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 when we need to be walking by faith. But let's look at it. Let's go through this by faith for just a little bit. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained a witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. How was how was Abel able to do that? He did it by faith. Amen. We begin to look at all these characters that are listed in, in Hebrews the eleventh chapter. We we look back at all those in the Old Testament mm. and how they stood, uh, and, and you know we, we marvel at the. Uh, uh, the, the things they were able to accomplish, and you say, how could they do this? The Bible simply says, by faith. Yes, sir. Right. By faith. Mm -hmm. By faith. It said, by faith, Enoch was translated mm -hmm. that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. Mm -hmm. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And again, Brother Richard, we were talking about it this morning. This is a type of a rapture. <laughs> this is a type of a rapture. Amen. And it was translated that he should not see death. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up. That's right. Shall be caught up. And was not found because God had translated. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Mm -hmm. Simply had a testimony that he pleased God. Yes, he did. Listen, 
And if we want to make it out of here when that trumpet sounds, we need to have a testimony that we please God. Amen. Yes, sir. That's right. Come on now. That we please God. Why? Because verse 6 explains it. But without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Mm -hmm. If I don't have faith, I'm not pleasing God. Right. That's right. If I don't have faith, I'm not pleasing God. Listen. If I say that I'm not able to do anything for God, you very well, I'm not able to do anything for God. Then I'm not walking by faith. Hmm? Bless him, God. I'm not walking by faith. If I, if, I say, if I say, oh, I can't do that, I'm not walking by faith. Huh? I'm walking by sight. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm able to do that. You're not walking by faith. You're not walking by faith. For without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Praise God. Maybe I don't have enough faith because I'm not seeking Him enough. Hmm? If I was seeking, you shall find. Maybe I'm not seeking Him enough. But look, by faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by what? By faith. Amen. See the title. It's by, by faith. How could they do this? What prompted them to do these things? It was faith. Yes, sir. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Faith causes me to go into action. Amen. Just wait me. Well, if if I hear if I've never heard the word of God preach, or if I hear the word of God preach, and I believe it, and it brings conviction to my heart, what I do, I go into action mm -hmm. and repent because I believe the gospel, and I believe I needed to repent because the word of God says so. So, so my faith put me into action. Mm -hmm. Their faith in chapter eleven put them into action. Somebody said, well, well, I sure would like to have a blessing tonight. Well, if I believe I'm going to receive a blessing, what's going to happen? Faith is going to put me into action of work, worshiping Him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen. Faith will put... These, these that says by faith, each one of them put their faith into action. Mm -hmm. They done something about the faith that they had. They done something. Why? Because faith without works is dead. If they if they had never acted on it, it'd just been dead faith. So, again, verse eight: By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed. Wait a minute. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place, by faith he did this now, mm -hmm. which he should not receive for an inheritance, what did he do? Obey. Faith caused Abraham to what? Obey God. Mm -hmm. So, if that's the case, then disobedience is a lack of faith. Amen. Hmm? Most people disobey because of a lack of faith. So disobedience is a lack of faith. Because by faith Abraham believed and obeyed. He, he was called to go out to a place which he should have received for an inheritance, obeyed and went out, not knowing where he was going. He just obeyed. Faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. He was looking for a place that God had promised. 
Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. She Amen. judged him faithful who had promised. This word of God is full of the promises of God. And if we judge God faithful, then we ought to step out by faith Amen. tonight. Amen. Yes, sir. Do you, do you can judge God faithful? She said, the Bible said that she judged God faithful. She judged him that promised faithful. Therefore sprang there even of one of him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. And let, me, let me stop just there. When, when it talks about the seed of Abraham, mm -hmm. he says that it shall be as the stars of the heaven and as the sands of the sea. Could I tell you that the stars of the heaven is the heavenly body, Amen. Or the church, the sands of the sands of the sea, mm -hmm. or the natural Israel, the stars of the heaven of the spiritual Israel, which is the church, which is us. Amen. Somebody said, "Why is that?" The Bible said that through His seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Yes, sir. The Bible tells us that uh, we, uh, because of Abraham's seed. He said in, in Galatians 3 and 29, If you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according what? To his promise. Amen. So when you read it, when you read it with the stars of the sky, it's the spiritual, it's the heavenly, it's the spiritual side of it. The sand, the sand of the sea, which is on earth, is the natural side of, of right. his seed. So by faith he did that. By faith they did that. These all died, but look at look at verse 13. These all died in faith. Not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. Mm -hmm. What 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 keep what motivates you and what motivates me? To take the time out to come to the house of God every week. To get, get up, get ready to come to the house of God. It's faith. It's faith knowing that He's going to prepare a place for me, although I've not seen it yet. Amen. It's faith knowing that He died for me. Mm -hmm. And He rose again and He promised to come back after me. And that's, that's what motivates It's that faith that motivates me. It, it's that faith that keeps me coming. And what am I doing? I am embracing the promises of God. Amen. You're embracing the promises of God. Because faith motivated you to be in the house of God tonight. You're embracing those promises. Yes. You haven't seen His coming yet. I haven't heard that trumpet sound yet. But I've got hope. I've got an expectation. I've got a belief. I've got an assurance. Amen. That it's going to happen one day. Yes, it is. So how am I? How am I doing? How, why have I been preaching this for over thirty years? I've been doing it by faith. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it by faith. That this word is true. Yes, it is. Every word in the book is true. I do it by faith. I said these all died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Let me, let me tell you something. I love to worship, and I love to shout, and I love to run the aisles, and I love to feel the Holy Ghost all over me. But there, there are some times in our walk with God that we walk through dry places. That's right. And we may not feel a thing. What gets us through that is that we are walking by faith that we're going to come out of whatever it is we're in. Amen. Yes, sir. We continue to walk by faith no matter what the circumstances are. Praise 
Sometimes if we're not careful, too many people say, well, we didn't shout last night. I think I'll look for some place else to go to church. You know what? They're not walking by faith. They're not walking by faith. They saw them. They saw the promises. They were persuaded of them. They embraced them. We are embracing, or we should be embracing the promises in the Word of God every day that we get up. When we get up in the morning, God, I'm embracing your promise. That your mercies are new this day. Amen. I'm embracing your promises. Praise God. That we can be blessed. Praise God. If we're obedient to your word. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. In other words, and some of the children of Israel were guilty of that when they came out of Egypt and things got a little rough there in the wilderness. They said, oh, why don't you just leave us in Egypt to die? That's right. They looked sure. back at Egypt and, 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 and uh, the cucumbers and the leeks, and they said, oh, there's plenty of that back there to eat. We ought to just stay back there. Why? They were they, they they were mindful of the country they came out of, but the thing of it was, they were only remembering the good parts. They forgot how they had cried out, "Oh, the the, the task is too heavy, the burden is too heavy. Somebody deliver us from this." That's right. They sure did. I'm afraid too many people forgot what God delivered them out of, and before you know it, they're they're back in that country. They asked God to deliver them out of. They, if they'd been mindful of the country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He hath prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up by Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Of whom it is said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Of course we know that, that ran on down to the lineage of Christ. Mm -hmm. Accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead. From which also he received him in a figure. Our, our life figure to call him. The, 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 the sacrifice of Isaac was... That when God provided the lamb for sacrifice, it was of a like figure to come, which was Jesus Christ. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Jonah and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the parting of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones, and that was, he told them, don't you leave my bones buried in Egypt. Amen. When you leave out of here, you take my bones yes, with you. Sir. Because he didn't want to stay in what, when you study it out, that Egypt was considered a type of sin. Mm -hmm. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. They were not afraid of the king's commandment. That could fly today. Mm -hmm. Not be afraid of the king's commandment. Mm -hmm. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer the affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. We need to always remember what we're doing now is just for a season. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's just for a season. <clears throat> Esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, 
for he had respect of the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover, the sprinkling of the blood, lest that he, he that destroyed the firstborn should touch him. By faith they passed through the Red Sea, as by dry land, which the Egyptians to save to do were drowned. Israel stepped off of that water by faith. That's the right. water's part. They done it how? By faith. Yes, it is. By faith. The Egyptians, well, they stepped in and didn't have the faith. No. They were drowned. <laughs> they were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. When? It, it was, listen, mm. don't you understand? It wasn't just their faith that caused those walls to fall down. It was their faith and their actions mm -hmm. and their obedience because they were told to march seven times around Jericho. Sure, they done it by faith, but they put that faith into action. That's right. You know, you know, you know a lot of times why we don't see some of the things we ask God for fulfilled or answered? It's because we don't put the faith that we have into action. Mm -hmm. By faith they've done this. If they had sat around and said, I believe God's going to knock those walls down, they'd still be sitting there looking at the wall. That's right. Because God said after you march around seven times, mm -hmm. you march around seven times, you do that by faith. Let's see what happens. Sometimes I think we try to predict the result before God ever does it. We got it all figured out in our mind how God's going to do this. So instead of just giving it to God saying, and by faith saying, God, you handle it like you want to. Amen. We say, God, would you do it this way? If we're walking by faith, it doesn't matter how God does it. Amen. Hmm? Amen. By faith, the heart of Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And he said, What shall I, shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and Jephthah of David also and Samuel and of the prophets. And, and if you want to if you want to find out what these done, go back in the Old Testament and look those names up. I, I won't take time to get into what you each one of them, but they done what the things they accomplished, they accomplished by faith. By faith. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness. Obtain promises. Mm -hmm. Stop the mouth of lions. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong. Wax valiant in fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Others were, others were tortured, not accepted deliverance. Somebody says, that's crazy. They didn't accept deliverance. No. You know what their faith, you know what their faith was in? A better resurrection. Mm -hmm. They have hope of a better resurrection. Amen. So, so they just said, you know, the Bible said others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Now that's faith. That's, that's faith. Right. And others had trial of cruel walkings and scourging, Jay, more of their bonds in the prison. They were stoned, they were sown asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. What excuse have we? They did this by faith. Of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains, and in dens, and caves of the earth. But look at verse 39. 
And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. What promise was that? I can tell you what promise it was. The promise of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Notice what it said. And, and, and these all, they, they saw it, they embraced, they knew uh, that a Messiah was coming. Mm -hmm. And they embraced that. Mm -hmm. Through faith, even though, even though they never saw it, they never obtained that promise. They, they prophesied about it. They knew it was coming and they kept on going through faith. These all having attained a good report through faith received not the promise. But look at verse 40. God having provided some better thing for us. Listen. You read about what they accomplished and what they've done. It leaves us without excuse. Amen. Because the word said, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. If you don't make it, you're letting these old patriarchs down. Amen. If you don't embrace this promise of God, you're letting these old patriarchs down. We finish the race that they start. Mm -hmm. We finish the race that they start. See, if you go into verse 12, or chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Wherefore, seeing we, are, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, and that, that's these people that it was talking about in chapter 11. Let us lay aside every weight, no excuse, let us lay aside, aside every weight, and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience, the race that is set before us. Shame on you if you say it's too hard. All right. Amen. If you say it's too hard to do this, shame on you. God having provided some better thing for us. Yes, sir. And seeing we're compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every way that sin is which are does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Amen. We're finishing this race for them. Looking unto Jesus, mm -hmm. the author and finisher of our faith, yes. who for the joy that was set before him <coughs> endured the cross. <coughs> For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Listen, for the little aggravating things that we have to put up with, surely we can endure them for the joy that is set before us. <coughs> for the joy. For the joy that is set before us. Despising the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Look Jesus. Look at Jesus. Faith calls them to obey God. Faith calls them to obey God. So if I can't do it, if I say I can't do it, I'm basically saying I'm not willing to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not walking by faith. Because the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith calls them to obey God. Mm -hmm. Simply by faith. They did these things by faith. If we we're struggling, try a little more faith. Faith again. Faith faith start out that chapter. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Get a little more, bit more hope in your life. Amen. You know, God, I'm going to do this. I'm going to step out and, and, and out on this, and I'm going to do this by faith mm -hmm. because I'm hoping before I get started good, you're going to come. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Bless him, Lord. See, I've got, you know, you got that hope. Mm -hmm. You got that hope. That tomorrow's going to be a better day. Amen. You've got that hope within you that causes you to endure these things. Yes. Because it's by faith, by faith, mm -hmm. that we walk. By faith, we have this hope. By faith. And that faith causes us to be obedient to the Word of God. Till we see, till we see those things that we hope for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Till we see those things that we hope for. One place the scripture says we're saved by hope. But you know what hope is? Hope is faith. Amen. It's faith. Faith calls him to obey God. Don't let your lack of faith cause you to be disobedient to God. Because most, that's what, lack of faith is what causes most of us to disobey. Are you walking by faith tonight? Let's all stand. Simply by faith. By faith. By that thing I hope for. By that thing that I'm expecting. By that thing that I believe. That's what I'm walking by. By that assurance that I have. That's what I'm walking by. Not by circumstances. We walk by faith. So I exercise my faith. Mm -hmm. I cause I, I let my faith cause me to go into action. I let my faith cause me to come around this front and worship God. What are they saying? Praise God. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's gather around and worship God.